Hi, welcome to HLS Show Me How, leveraging Microsoft stream content within OneNote. I am your host, Michael Giannotti, and I am a HLS technology specialist, which means I work for Microsoft's healthcare and life sciences group out of the Microsoft Northeast. So the other day I saw a little post that was out there about leveraging the power of Microsoft Stream within Microsoft OneNote. And if you're not familiar with Stream, Stream is pretty much that video uh, portal for your enterprise organization, whether you're in healthcare, whether you're in life sciences, whether you're in whatever vertical industry, it doesn't matter. When we talk about capturing subject matter expertise, that tacit knowledge, getting it out of people's heads and into uh, reusable format, video is the way to go. When we talk about show me how, like I'm doing here, video is the way to go. So whether it's tutorials or even meetings, when we're having a meeting and you miss the meeting, how do you go back? How do you review what happened? Skip to the point that you need to get to. Video is the way. And Microsoft Stream provides that for our customers, but we also provide something called OneNote. And OneNote is an awesome tool. OneNote can be leveraged right within Microsoft Teams. You uh, can instantiate a OneNote right in there as a shared OneNote for everyone. You can put it into your OneDrive. You can create one out on SharePoint somewhere. But the beauty of it is it can be shared and leveraged by many people. That's why it has become such a favorite, not only in the educational space, but also in healthcare and life sciences, because it allows you to share it, to be able to view it through a web interface, as well as to take it offline, as we have here, for mobile usage as well. Now, if we wanted to enter, you know, I've got two different examples that we're gonna to tackle today to kind of highlight um, where that might be appropriate and how you might want to think about leveraging stream within OneNote. So here I have a healthcare and life sciences demo OneNote. And you can see, first of all, I've got a section set up. My first one is really for healthcare professionals. Um, and I'm doing two different ones here. So actually be typically two different OneNotes, but we're going to use one for our demo. In this case, it's ICU procedures around sterilization and disinfecting. So I went out and I didn't actually, I didn't make this up myself. I actually grabbed this online, um, some procedures. But here you can see we have uh, procedures for sterilization and disinfecting in the ICU and they have step by step. Now that's great, but what if we wanted to show me how? So I could take this OneNote, I can make it available in a Microsoft Teams environment or in SharePoint, but some centralized point where all my nurses, whether from a clinical workstation, whether from their mobile device, because again, we can take this mobile through iOS and Android as well, whether it's a tablet or a phone, whether it's a PC or a Mac, I'm allowing them to access this content where and when they need it, both on and offline, to be able to access and do things here. So, but here we have step by step, but we might want to go ahead and insert video, right? Show me how. So what I've done, we're gonna actually just move this down a bit because we're gonna put a video, kind of a show me how video at the top. Now, I don't have a video in my stream instance around this, but I do have a show me how video where I'm walking through how to do a procedure, right? So this could be sterilization, it could be anything else, but it's really simple. I simply come in and here you can see in the beauty of doing video using Microsoft Stream, we get transcripts readily here. We get search within those transcripts. Um, we even get facial recognition that's here, right? Where we can click people. I don't have any people showing in this one, um, but to share it and to make it a part of OneNote, I simply come here, click share. And we're going to copy this hyperlink. That's it. Now I come back to my OneNote, go to the point where I want to insert it, and we're going to go ahead and paste it. And notice the second I do so, OneNote recognizes where it's coming from, Microsoft Stream. It inserts the video within. I can now go ahead. It's going ahead and buffering and playing. So even if I'm not at our organization, as long as I have access to the internet, we can play this video. There we go. Um, we have some other features within this. We have closed captions that are available. We can adjust settings. We can go full screen if we want and then come on back. We even have search. So if I wanted to see search, 
I could type, you know, blog, for example, and it's going to find where blog was mentioned. And I can go straight to the point where that particular piece uh, is there and not have to waste my time with all of it. But the beauty of it is now my nurses on this particular floor in the ICU, they can go ahead, they can view the procedures here, they can view the show me how video, they can even, if we want to allow it, allow them to further edit and iterate or perhaps take notes around their commentary to improve this. So very powerful. The second way that I wanted to highlight is around team meetings. So one of the common things that people do is share a OneNote during a meeting, a shared OneNote, because you can have all the attendees of the meeting taking notes. So I've done, you know, I actually did this myself here, but you can see I went ahead and I edited or I added some notes where I said, you know, here are notes taken by a meeting attendee and here are different notes by another attendee. I just did two different colors, but you get the idea. The second we're done, we have consolidated meeting minutes. But the beauty of it is whether I'm in Skype for Business or Microsoft Teams, the ability to record my meeting is inherently built in. We can record that meeting and then again, via the power of stream, and this happens automatically in Teams, it's automatically saved service side to stream, I can simply come here and let's get out of this one. And here I have a recorded meeting. It's actually a team meeting. If we go back, meeting recordings demo, there you go. You can see that here. And I'm going to go ahead, select this. And you can see this was for a community meeting we had. This could be around, this was around um, Microsoft Stream, for example, in this particular one. And there's a whole kickoff. Again, think of this. You missed a meeting. You can watch the whole thing or you can search and go to the pieces of interest to you without all of it. So now I simply come in, I select share. We're going to copy, come back to my OneNote. And again, all I need to do is paste this particular piece. Now, I might want to take and move that, you know, so I'm not overwriting, for example, my, my text there. But there you go. So now we see where we've got this video and again I can come in here we can play that start it off we can like it right um, or unlike it we can like or unlike we can add it to a watch list we can search right within the video itself here search the transcript we can get closed captioning and more all built in so now my team meetings the aftermath the output is that much richer again if we're doing this in teams it's all in one place we simply make this our, we make this a tab in our teams for meetings. And each time we have a meeting, we simply create a new page for that meeting. Add our, uh, <clears throat> have everybody take their notes. Maybe we do a designated spot that we maintain at the top, but everybody can take notes simultaneously. Add the video recording of that meeting and we have the richest possible reuse of content and access to it in an ongoing fashion. And again, the beauty of it is because it's in Teams, it's available online, it's available offline, it's available mobile, it's available Mac or PC. So that's it. As you can see, using the power of video with OneNote is simple, it's easy, and it's highly applicable to the healthcare space. Think about researchers, clinical researchers, or you know, in the pharmaceutical industry, researching and taking notes and having your meetings, et cetera, and making it available, not via just the notes from everybody within the meeting with a shared one note, but also capturing that meeting in its full richness with video, and then making that available within that same one note. And of course, all of this can be surfaced through Microsoft Teams, for a seamless place where you get your work done, including things like uh, sterilization on a particular floor like the AC, ICU or other areas within the healthcare space or meetings, et cetera. All that's applicable and it's not just applicable for healthcare and life sciences, but for all industries, all organizations. So I hope you found this useful. I hope to hear how you're using it within your own organization. Take a look, take a try and with that, this is Michael Gennati, and if you have other questions, want to know 
how to do something, you can find me at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That is the Microsoft Healthcare and Life Sciences blog out on our tech community. I want to thank you. Bid you have a great day. Take care. And as always, ciao.